do less. Leisure is the new productivity tool. Hello everyone, it's Mazen. Welcome to the Maximal Life. Have you ever spent time brainstorming with colleagues without any satisfactory new ideas? Only to have the most amazing idea pop into your head later when you were walking the dog or playing ball with the kids? Um, have you ever gone to bed stuck in a word puzzle that seemed impossible to solve only to miraculously and effortlessly find the solution when you wake up? Have you tried to remember that particular lyric of a song without success only to have it pop into your head when you least expect it? We've all had similar experiences where we've been scraping our skulls for elusive new ideas, solutions to problems, or even memories, and we just haven't been able to find exactly what we need. We've all experienced creative roadblocks that seemed impossible to resolve. Remember the last time you gave up on something when all of the sudden you least expected a shining and bright idea hit you on the head right in the middle of the shower? So what is it that prevents us from finding the next big idea when we are trying our hardest? What is it that helps us find the ideas we need when we've tuned out, stopped trying, and all but given up? Today, I'm going to tell you how you can accomplish more by doing less. Sounds contradictory, I know, but stay with me while I explain. I want to share with you the importance of being idle and the value of doing nothing. An eye-opening study by Marcus Rachel and others found that certain types of brain activity, like the creative thinking, gets congested during our goal-directed, deliberate behaviors. The study speaks of how regions of the brain actually decrease their activity during attention-demanding cognitive tasks. Now, it may seem counterproductive, I know, that our creative regions of the brain would slow down when we are demanding the most from yourself. But get this, science has shown the opposite happens. The best ideas come when you have the least demand on your brain, when the brain is seemingly at rest. There is actually a significant amount of ongoing internal activity, especially in the creative regions. In other words, we may think we are tuned out, but our brains, and I'm going to get a little geeky here, specifically our brain's alpha waves, are working quite hard in the background without us being aware of it. So when you're leisurely watering the plants or watching your kids play, your brain is busy tapping into the subconscious mind where many great ideas are born. In fact, a study on resting state brain activity speaks of two problem-solving strategies the conscious, methodical approach, and the abrupt emergence of a sudden insight. The study examined people and their problem solving and decisions by using electroencephalograms, a big fancy word to monitor the brain. These are devices that track and measure the brain's electrical activity. They found that the cognitive problem solving abilities were higher when the individuals were in a state of rest. So, the next time you decide to take a break from work, don't feel even the slightest bit of guilt about it. Take a minute. Take a break. You are priming your brain for better performance. Breaks boost the brain. In a workplace productivity survey of a large sample of white-collar workers, such as legal professionals, health professionals, educational professionals, and so on, surveyed across multiple countries, found that professionals reported low performance, morale, and productivity as a result of overwork. The survey identified information overload, or the concept known as information breaking point, and found it to be a significant factor that contributed to their quality of work suffering. At some point, there is just so much information coming at us that we are unable to sort through it fast enough. We are spending a lot of time and energy simply spinning our heads for that information. Too much information is a global challenge and has actually become a drag on our productivity and morale. So what do we do? We do less to be more productive. Leisure is the new productivity tool. Perhaps this explains why Archimedes shouted his now legendary Eureka 
when he stepped into the bath and abruptly found the answer to what had previously been an intractable mathematical problem. It is in the leisure of bath time that he managed to trigger his creative process. Writer and philosopher Henry David Thoreau and many others got their best ideas when they were up walking, something I've spoken about in many other episodes. Thomas Edison was a big supporter of power naps because these naps helped him to get some of his best ideas. Composer, lyricist, and playwright Lynn manuel Miranda believes that the best ideas come not when we are busy doing stuff, but when we are at rest. It comes in the shower. It comes when you're doodling or playing trains with your son. It is when your mind is on the other side of things, he says. Strangely, this is also true at the physical level. Long distance runner Dina Castor speaks of success that lies in stepping away from her physical training. Author and columnist Bridget Schultz speaks of unproductive, sick, unhappy, burned out, and disengaged workers who are simply too busy with their busyness to be as productive, as creative, and as innovative as they can be. You see, our best ideas have been proven to simply pop up in those moments of calm and in the spaces between bouts of deliberate thinking. Mark Beeman, professor at Northwestern University, has similar insights to share about the times when we are focused and hard at work. When we concentrate on one thing, we suppress other things. In other words, by thinking too hard about the problem at hand, we may be obstructing the very process that yields that desirable out-of-the-box solution and that eureka moment. Oscillation can be the key to that aha moment. So what do we learn from these studies and from the creative processes that famous successful people have devised for themselves? That we need to oscillate between a state of working and resting. Conscious effort is one thing, but switching off to let the mind do its own continuous, unconscious, incremental processing is the other. It is both of these processes in sequence that help us achieve those aha moments the innovative solutions, the new product ideas, a marketing insight, a new slogan, a creative copy. These are all amazing byproducts of the brain's resting state. But now you can see it is the loose associative mental state that is the most beneficial to creating those unexpected neural connections that produce the eureka moment. But we've been conditioned to feel guilty about taking time off, holidays, breaks during the weekdays, and even getting enough sleep at night. We've been told that these are ways of productive time, which can be utilized much more effectively in active grinding effort. But it is important to remember that time off is not an indulgence. It's certainly not a vice. Breaks boost the brain. When we keep soldiering on, take, not taking time off, compromising on sleep and simply powering through the day, we're not only doing a disservice to our own needs, but also preventing our brain's optimal functioning. There is a good reason why it is the brain that mops up 20% of all the energy our bodies produce. And here's the thing, the brain continues to use energy at about the same rate even when we are supposedly doing nothing. There is a good reason why we retain information and learn the best when we've had a good night's sleep. This is because memory depends upon sleep. When the mind is at rest, it is not about being idle, but about taking a step back, taking a whole picture to gain valuable perspective that can only come from a distance. And it is when we give our brain the much needed space that inspiration will fall into place. It is such a beautiful thing when that happens. So today, how can we accomplish more? By doing less. Take a break to do your best work. I follow an S-shaped workday, which you get inside my Time Maker program. Break time is built into the S-shaped workday in such a clear way that it invites inspiration to strike. You see, it's counterproductive to concentrate on the same task for hours at a time. Instead, Follow up that period of fierce concentration with a break when you simply tune out. Do stretches at your desk, 
grab a healthy snack, or perhaps walk on over to a colleague to discuss something completely unrelated. Let your mind drift off. Let it flow along its own path, and it may very well spark off an original insight that can lead to the solution you've been seeking. During a workday, take a minute for breathing exercises or a few minutes of meditation. Meditation is seen to have particularly beneficial impact on the mind, helping us with attention spans, mindful eating, and stress reduction. Make sure you take advantage of paid leave or create a window of time off, even if you are your own boss and the responsibility of your whole business rests on your shoulders alone. The benefits of taking time off, a holiday, a deliberate change of scene, go way beyond just rest. Here's another example to demonstrate my point. A Harvard Business School study spanning four years examined the folks at Boston Consulting Group who were told that they had to take a break, predictable and required breaks, once every week. The study participants resisted at first. I know that many of us would resist too. Most CEOs and company leaders that are conditioned to think that working hard all the time is best would resist. However, over time, I know that we grow to love our scheduled time off the way that the people at Boston Consulting Group did. The deliberate rest time made people more satisfied with their jobs, helped them make a long-term view of the company future, and generated more satisfaction. You too can be more satisfied with your job, proud of your accomplishments, and be sure that the aha moment is just around the corner, buried within the subconscious mind, and it is just waiting to emerge. After all, breaks boost the brain. Make time for that vacation you've been planning with your family or friends, or even by yourself. Not only do you gain perspective by distancing yourself from your job, you rejuvenate your mind. You gain insight from new places, meeting new people, perhaps even relishing in the exciting local cuisine. When you leave work, switch off completely. Don't attend to work-related emails, calls, and messages as long as possible. If you work at home in the evenings, try to replace that with uninterrupted personal time, engaging in a hobby or a leisurely activity that you enjoy, or having a leisurely meal with your family, spending time with friends, or just simply being not doing anything. Prioritize restful sleep at night by trying to get to bed at about the same time every day and seeing if you can get up in the morning without an alarm clock. If possible, grab that power nap in the middle of the day or take a break to listen to music or just head to a nearby park. Tonight, reward yourself with picking a place and a map that you've never been to, a place that speaks to you, a place for you to recharge and rest commit to going there this year. As maximal achievers, you move mountains. You can move your body from your busy routine to your rest and rejuvenation. Do it tonight and feel your ambition exhale and create a space for your inspiration. You have no idea what will happen when you truly let go. And this is the entire point. Breaks boost the brain. Set up your brain for greatness. Thank you for joining me today. Put your mind to rest. This is not something that should make you feel guilty, no matter what social media or the self-help manuals say. Get that creative spark not by working towards it, but instead by not working at all. There is more to life than conscious effort, conscious thinking, conscious action. Enjoy the moments between all the action. You'll be sure to feel recharged, ready for the day ahead, and raring to go. Enjoy the beauty of these potent moments, and when that eureka moment strikes, feel that much closer to your maximal self, living your maximal life. Thank you. If you like what you have seen and heard, please subscribe.